Welcome back. We are continuing our video series on the RPO sequences that have been added to Astrogator. Uh, in this particular case, we're looking at one of the forced motion sequences, the forced motion circumnav. We can look really quickly and see where that comes from. Uh, if we look in the forced motion folder, it's the first one there. And uh, let's get rid of that backward sequence. I didn't mean to put it there. Um, so in this particular case, let's look at, look at what it has here. You see there's a lot of parameters here. Um, the force motion circumnav sequence allows you to do what it says. It's a force motion circumnavigation about uh, your target vehicle. Uh, the sequence needs to actually move from where it starts to get to the place where it can do that circumnavigation. Um, and this is accomplished typically uh, via a set of force motion waypoints. Uh, so those will by default move the uh, chase vehicle in a straight line along the path that's connecting where it was to where it's going to be. And so you can look at the force motion waypoints uh, video to see how that works. Um, but that allows us to set up for our force motion, force motion circumnav. Um, if, it's, if we want to use a simple hop, we can instead of a, the uh, series of waypoints. And then in the parameters, you can set uh, the uh, way max degrees parameter to a large value, in this case something greater than 180 degrees, that'll give you the hop behavior. Um, so there are lots of different things you can change with this. Uh, you can change the size of your circumnav radius, you can change the orientation, um, so your cross track rotation, your uh, in track rotation, your uh, initial offset angle, those, those different things. You can also then change your translation of um, of your, your force motion circumnav. So that's going to be your radial offset, your in-track offset, and your cross-track offset. And then you can also change kind of the, the quickness that this thing is going to uh, play out in, in terms of the time ratio by changing the uh, time compression ratio. Um, so you can vary these in a lot of different ways. There's a lot of different options here. Um, and what you end up with is going to be something potentially unique depending on those parameters. And so here we've added one just to our basic RPO satellite. Uh, so we added a force motion circumnav on the end, and uh, we previously ran it. But when it runs, it does run uh, a number of targeters to get the thing to do, to do what you want it to do. And so it's forcing it to do this. It's actively controlling it to make it uh, arrive where we need it and then do the circumnavigation. Um, and because we previously converged this, it's, it converges relatively quickly here. Um, so we'll let that finish, and then we'll take a look at what it did. All right, so there we finished, and let's go ahead and, as with as with always, we're going to set our animation time based on the beginning of the thing we're looking at. In this case, the force motion circumnav sequence. We're also going to zoom to there in our 3D graphics. Make the 3D graphics big, and you can see we start out with our force motion waypoints. So we do a number of of small uh, hops and maneuvers to kind of push us along a near straight line until we get to where we're going to do our circumnav. In this case, we're doing a circumnav above the target vehicle. Um, and so it's going to form you know, a, a circular circumnavigation ab above it. Um, and it looks kind of cool. Um, so let's go ahead and see what our time step is. We'll go ahead and play that. And we'll bump it down a little bit, actually. So you can see as we follow along our force motion waypoints, we're approaching the uh, insertion into the circumnav, and then once we get there, we will move relatively to the target vehicle in a circumnavigation pattern. Um, and so, colloquially, sometimes uh, we do like to refer to this as kind of a halo orbit, not to be confused with your halo orbits at the liberation points and such, um, but it does form a nice little halo above the target. Um, and so that is the forced motion circumnav. You can also see the little jumps that we force it around uh, to do the circumnavigation. Um, so thanks for listening, and please tune into our other videos.